Hi everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm just going to do a quick little Valentine's decorate with me. And I'm talking about this is really simple and inexpensive. Well, inexpensive for me because I didn't go out and buy anything. I had this stuff. I've been collecting it from the dollar store. You can see I have it laid out right here. Some hearts and some plates. And I have even some cherubs and just a little bit of material and a I love you sign and things like that. You know, very simple. I really didn't want to do a Valentine's decorate, but uh, Marianne really likes it. So I'm doing it for her. So right now I'm showing you my bay window here and I lined the window with red lights. And the next thing I had this heart that has red lights in it as well. And what I did was I hung it with a 3M hook. Then I taped the cord down to keep it straight. And then I used nylon wire on each side of the heart. Otherwise, it wants to turn on its own in there. So this made sure that it stayed where it, I wanted it to stay. Next, I have these um, hearts that I got in the dollar zone. And there's five of them there. And I hung them from 3M hooks uh, and the nylon wire. And the excess lights, I just kind of scattered it on the bottom. You really won't even see it. Here is another really cheap wreath. I just used a green wreath and I used deco mesh on the outside of it. And that's it. That's what I'm doing just to coordinate with my window. So you can see here uh, the nighttime view. It's really simple, but you know, it's like just Valentine's Day. So red lights, they look white here, but they are red. You see the heart with the other hearts and that's what it looks like from the down by the driveway. Here, I'm taking away uh, my winter decor on the entrance table in the foyer. And this is the only other place I'm going to decorate for um, Valentine's Day. So I'm collecting my pine cones here. They will go into a bin, but for right now, I'm putting them in the box. And I'm taking out some of the winter greenery that I have there. Now, I will be reusing most of that in this display because it's... Valentine's Day is February and it's still winter. So, um, you know, I'm taking off the lights right here on these little fir trees that I used and um, quick cleanup because, wow, do they shed. They shed like they're a real tree there. Those little needles are always all over the place. So I'm cleaning up a little bit and getting ready for what I'm going to do. And of course, I had to sweep because those little needles are all over the place. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm using this uh, mirror that I used the relief of, I don't know if you ever saw that video, I used hot glue on the outside and I made a relief uh, kind of texture on here and I'm using that as my centerpiece for my Valentine's Day decor. Uh, the last time I used this was fall up on the fireplace. Uh, so I'm going to hang my uh, I love you sign here or love you I think it just says. Uh, on the back of the mirror, there's a little hook. So I'm using some floral wire to attach that onto the uh, mirror. I'm just adjusting it right now. And I also, if you notice, I also added a little bit of red ribbon that I just got in my recent Michael's Grey Bag haul. All right, so I put some white branches up there that you can barely see. They're on the top of the mirror. And now I'm going to hang these dollar zone hearts that I had, I put a hook in from those 8 million hooks that I got from the my Michael's Hall and also a little uh, jewel there that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting nylon wire in the little hook that I inserted into the heart and I'm, in I'm tying the nylon wire up on top of the branches. So you can see I kind of scattered them around and I also added some of the winter greenery up on those branches just in the center to give it some kind of presence. And I also stuck a little bird in there. There's a little red bird as well. I use, you know, a few of the red things that I have. Next, I'm using this red container. I'm sure those of you that know me, you know it's familiar from Christmas. It is from my Christmas time. I put in two of my um, cedar picks on each side and here I have another one that's frosted with this uh, white snow. All of these came f uh, that I've had already from prior Michael's grab bag hauls. Okay so I'm just adjusting it because I want it to cascade down off of that basket. Next I have these red roses. They look pretty real don't they? They look pretty good and I'm going to use those and just make a little tiny arrangement in there. I have this 
red fabric that has sequins on it so it does pick up a lot of light and I'm using that as a runner okay so you see I it's just it's just a plain piece of fabric there's not it's not even sewn on the edges and who's gonna see it right so I just kind of like scrunch it up on each end there to you make it look like it doesn't really care and uh, it gives it a very festive Valentine-ish kind of look. Still adjusting that, right? Okay, there you go. I think I'm happy with it. Maybe now. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to put the two lamps at each end, but I'm going to change out the lampshades. So I'm taking off those neutral lampshades and I'm going to use these burgundy ones, which, you know, are red. So again, to pick up our red color for Valentine's Day. Next, I have these cute cherubs that I ordered online. Well, Marianne actually ordered them online. And uh, what I'm going to do is I I took that heart from the Dollar Tree and I glued the heart onto each one of those cherubs. And I'm using a glass for those two that look like they're sitting there. So I'm going to use that to prop up those uh, little cherubs. So you can see right now, right now I'm, I'm sitting him on the um, the top of the glass. So he has a little seat to sit on. Next, I'm going to work in the other ones that I have. I think I have a total of six. So I'm using three on each side. Four of them are like in a, in a laying down kind of position. Next, I have these two uh, plates that we had gotten from the Dollar Tree a while back. And I'm going to use a plate stand on each one and just prop those up again because they have hearts on them and they're red. And um, like I said, I wanted to use what I have without it looking too cheesy. I think I achieved a a look that is not elementary school. I always feel that a lot of these element, a lot of these Valentine's Day decoration look very elementary schoolish. So um, I try to not make it look like that. I use some of the winter greenery, some uh, candle holders with some candles, and um, I think I achieved a more I don't want to use the word sophisticated. It's I don't I wouldn't go that far, but a little bit more of an adult kind of look for my Valentine's um, decoration. So here we're taking an overview of the whole thing, giving you a look. I'm going to give it give you a few different angles of this, and here we are, head on, and it's just something nice that you know when you come in the front door, you see this Valentine display. Okay, everybody, so that's it for my Valentine's Decorate With Me. Cheap, easy, quick, fast, no fuss, no muss, and here it is. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for stopping by and spending some time with us, and we'll be back really soon. I guess well, maybe we're going to have a little uh, chit-chat video coming up soon, and um, I have a couple other things in store. Okay, everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourself. Stay safe, please. And God bless you. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.